on, everybody? This is Dan, and I am here playing Disney's Magical Quest, sorry, Mickey and Minnie today for the Game Boy Advance. Now, I'm doing this as part of the 60 Minutes a Week Gaming Challenge that's presented by St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. It's obviously something that's very important to me. It's very important to a lot of people, so I wanted to take part. Obviously, you don't have to donate, but if you feel so inclined to do so, uh, the link is down below, so it's in the description of this video. I, I am excited to play this game because I, I like doing things for a good cause. So this is exciting to me, uh, and this is something I do a lot. I actually have a YouTube channel, so this is my first time going live on Facebook with it, but I like to do this uh, pretty frequently. So feel free to subscribe. My channel is called Commotion Explosions over there on YouTube, and. Uh, we're just going to play some games today, so I look forward to it, and feel free to drop some comments, and, and, and welcome to the show. Oh. Here we go! All right, we are, uh, we're here, and uh, this is exciting, so I'm, I'm live, I'm here right now. Feel free to drop something in the comments if you're here. Uh, if you do want to donate, we have the information, it's in, in the link, but today I'm going to play Disney's Magical Quest. It's part of the... 60 days of gaming or 60 minutes of gaming week challenge. So uh, never played this before. We're gonna give it a shot. We get to choose as either Mickey or Minnie. So uh, you know what? I'm gonna play as Mickey. I think it, it, it's it's only it's only fair. And uh, we'll play on standard. I don't think we need to go to beginner. We'll, we never played this before, so I don't even know what the controls look like. But Mickey and his friends are playing catch in the park. There's Goofy throwing the ball. We got Pluto chasing it down. Here comes the pitch, Mickey. I should do it in my my Disney voices. Oh, there's Pluto's going to get the ball. Watch out, Pluto! Stop! Don't worry, Mickey. I'll find Pluto for you. Or <laughs> worried? Who's worried? If Goofy said he'll find him. And then Goofy will definitely find... He's probably... Uh-oh. Alright, so I guess we're up at the hilltop. And... Uh, treetops. So let's see, we gotta figure out what the buttons are first. Jump. Do I have any attack buttons, or do I just jump on people? I guess I just jump on people for now. Oh! I can pick up uh, items. I don't know what the point of that was, but okay. This one I can... Can I throw that? Well, I guess I could just fly up with it, so let's... No. Alright, Mickey. game looks pretty good. It's a Game Boy Advance game, so it came out in 2002. It's not that bad looking. I'm looking for my dog, Pluto. Have you seen him? Yes, your dog was captured by the evil ruler of this world, Emperor Pete! Pete, uh, he'll never give him back to you. Emperor Pete, he'll put an evil spell on Pluto as he does with all his prisoners. I warn you, his powerful magic has never been defeated. Do not attempt to rescue your dog. Save yourself! No, Pluto's my pal. I won't give up. Can you tell me where I can find this Emperor Pete? If you insist on going, follow the Emperor's statues. One after another, these will lead you to his castle. Gosh, thanks! So long! I will scatter magical boxes throughout the land. They will help you whenever you find trouble along your journey. Good luck, and beware the Emperor's magic. Alright. Alright, let's see what we got here. Collect a little out of the magical boxes, I guess? I don't really know what, what they do yet, but... I guess that's one of Pete's little soldiers. Okay. Oh! I guess I was- Oh no! I fell into the, the prickly, uh... Alright. Oh! I fell. So... Once again, never played this before, so we'll see how it goes. It can't be that hard, it's a Disney game, right? That's what I would think. Well, what's that? I got some berries. Alright. Oh, 
Uh, I can, okay, so I can use those as a weapon once I jump on them. That's cool. I don't care what this guy has to say again. So, okay, good. I don't have to listen to him. Alright. I get that little Mickey coin. Alright, I guess once I beat an enemy, they, they go away, which is good. Is that, is that little Pete was is gone. Alright, let's take this all the way up. Oh, another one of those. Alright, we got some coins. I guess those are the magical boxes that the sorcerer left around for us. How do I get up there? Do I have to... Uh, you know what? I bet I have to take one of these. And fly it up there. I'm figuring it out. Alright, oh, we're on the clouds. Clouds are disappearing. Alright, we've got some more coins. Good to know. I feel like I'm in like a secret path right now, jumping on these clouds. This is a kid's game, so it's obviously not hard, but... I love I love Disney games. I think they're always a lot of fun. So, oh. What did I touch? What did I touch? That's start the beginning. Let's let's get these Mickey boxes. I got some hearts in there. Okay. I think I'm already down to my last life. Obviously. I have to play for an hour, so <laughs> I might be starting over, but maybe you gotta continue. I'll right, we'll take care of little Pete. Alright, well that didn't take me anywhere. Right, is that the Mickey box? Alright, so my heart meter's up top. Okay. Gotta stay away from the prickles. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, there's Bumblebee! And he knocked me onto the thorns. I only have one heart left. Maybe I should have played on beginner. I touched something. Well, that's technically game over. I guess we'll start over again. Pluto still needs your help. Let's continue. We're gonna go find Pluto. You guys are probably like, wow, this guy sucks at games. Why is he playing? I'm doing it for the kids, guys. I'm doing it for the kids. What is that? Eventually I'll get it. Usually this is what happens. I'll play for 10 minutes and then I know what to do. Probably should start reading the manual before I do these things, but I like to go in blind. I like to go in not knowing anything about the game. And whether or not that works or not, what, what you know, we'll see, but... Alright, let's fly up. Alright. We're back on this uh, sky path. Let's get some coins. Music's pretty fun. It sounds like something you'd hear on Main Street at Disney World. Now, what was I hitting before that was causing me... To oh, there's prickles down there. I didn't see that. Okay. See, once, once I get the hang of it, I'm good. Okay. One, two. Okay, look at this. We're making progress. Remember, this is a kid's game, guys, and I'm, I'm struggling. This is my se I already had to continue, but... What is that? Oh, we gotta ride the tomato. Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! Where am I going? <laughs> if I was a kid playing this game, I'd probably be like, What the heck? Why is this so hard? But it's not that hard. I'm just really not good at... The I'm not good at games. I just like doing this for fun. Like I said, it's for the kids. It's for the kids. I just died in the same spot. I'm not going on the tomato this time. I'm, I'm leaving the tomato that where it is. We're going to leave the tomato and I'm going to go by myself. Oh, the tomatoes probably helped me not hit that, which would have been nice to know. 
And another tomato. Oh. Oh, there's tomatoes in the water. Can I go in the water? Or am I gonna die? Okay, at least I can swim. It's not like Sonic. The original Sonic, you touch the water and you're done. Uh-oh! That's like a... Evil Pete with wings or something. Oh! I thought he was coming at me. What? Oh no! I'm down here. I don't want to die. Okay. These little, like, Goombas. Fake me out. Oh no! No! Yes, I want to continue. Where do I do I start from one one? I'm gonna be so mad. I'm gonna be so mad. All right, I start from one two at least. So stupid tomatoes. That's why I picked this game. I was like, man, this can't be that hard. It's a Disney game, right? Like, I, I got it. Alright. Let's go. Tomato. Can I speed up the tomato at all? I'm just gonna follow the tomato. That way I can see where, where it stops and where it falls. Evil Pete, I have all my health, so we should be able to do this as long as I don't screw it up. All right, so I gotta jump on his head. I'm just gonna keep running around in circles. Is that is that like a cheat? I'll do it. I think it's working. I don't know how many hits it takes to kill this guy, but. I got like eight hits on him. Whoop. Oh. Oh no. Don't die. Don't die, Mickey. Come on. <laughs> Remember, guys, it's for the kids. It's for the kids. Come on. No. I don't know. Is that one going to come back at me? Yep. We got the Bat Pete over here. What was Pete? Was Pete like a dog? I thought he was a cat. Oh, see, that fake out keeps getting me every time. He hits me with that fake out. He's smart. Whoa! Okay. 
Oh, get away from me! Get away from- <laughs> His move pattern is- I'm telling you, if I was a kid playing this game, I'd be like, what the heck? At least when you play Mario, you know what Bowser's doing. Alright, got him! Now we can finally move on from the hilltops, so... This is a good time to remind you if you are watching. I don't know, I don't have a counter or anything, but please uh, donate to St. Jude. We are doing this for St. Jude's 60 minutes a week gaming challenge, and uh, I'm doing it for the kids. So even though I'm not very good at video games, I'm trying to uh, do what I can for the kids. So if you get a minute, jump on there. The link is in my description. And, uh, I, you know, I, I, I do what I can to help. And, and I can't always volunteer my time and money but I, I can at least do this this is this is good this is for the kids so all right Mickey I didn't know mice could swim oh no I'm gonna try and stay out of the water as best I can that's that's the key right now obviously I can't stay out there but there's no bad guys there so I'm not worried about it Take care of him. All right. Let's take care of these frogs. It's like the WB frog. Oh no! All right. Oh, I need those. What are those? Like hams? There's plenty of things trying to kill Mickey. I thought everybody was Mickey's... I thought Mickey's like this popular, happy character. I got starfish coming to get me. Like, what the heck? Oh! Oh, no! I need some hearts. We got any hearts in these? No. All right, where are we? One, four. I don't know. Oh, God. I'm at a boss. I'm probably going to need to continue. It's a snake. Is it? It's, it's a Pete snake. For Pete snake. Whoa. Whoa. What, what do I do with that? Can I throw it at him? Mm. Alright, well, I get to continue, hopefully, from there. Come on. Alright. You guys are gonna count how many lives it takes for me to, to beat this game. You're gonna be like, Dan, why are you even doing this? Come on. Come on, Pete Snake. Come get me. Oh! What am I... I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I thought I was supposed to jump on his head when he came after me. Alright, so he throws that tail over. That's what's getting me. Once again, I say this a lot, but imagine if I was a kid playing this game, I'd be so mad. Like, this is a tough Disney game. Luckily, you get unlimited continues, so you kind of learn what to do. But it's not an easy game. It's, it's definitely not what you would think for, as a Disney game, especially. Pete Snake. Oh no! Oh, what? I landed on his head!
Come on. Oh no! Oh! They get him? Yeah! All right. Ta-da! Treetops cleared. Took me like 600 tries. Where do we go from here? All right. Up oh, there's that sorcerer guy again. You have been doing very well against the emperor's magic, I see. Yeah. Oh, hi, wizard. What are you doing here? I have come to give you this magic turban. Sweet. What does it do? With this turban, you will have the power to perform magic and to remain underwater for a very long time. Cool. Alright, so we got the turban. Ah, oh, that's a sweet suit. Alright, Magic Mickey, let's go. Oh, I can shoot stuff now. Alright, this game should be... <laughs> now I'm ready. I thought I was ready. <laughs> now, of course, the, the villains get harder now that you have now that you have weapons. No, I don't get away from me. No, I want I want the genie bottle. How do I get the genie bottle? That's my magic. Oh, I have limited magic. Okay, so I can't I can't go crazy with my magic powers. I get eaten by fish. That's probably game over again, right? Oh, it is! At least we get to start over. <laughs> I don't know if I like the magic powers now. Maybe I, maybe there's a different button to do things with. Like, can I still pick things up? Or do I have to switch out of my turban? And how do I... There we go, okay. Okay, so in order to pick up items, I need to switch out of my turban. My turban's only there for... When I need to swim, or when I need to... Okay. I'm getting ahead. Okay. Oh! The same fish got me. This game's harder than you would think. So that's the thing about old games. Old games, like... When you play new games, you know when stuff's coming. Like, they design the levels pretty well. In old games, you had no idea. You would just walk around and somebody kill you, and you'd have to remember, like, next time when you're playing, be like, I'm not going there again. And right now, I just almost got eaten by the same fish if I didn't bounce out of there at the last second. And we got magic. We got, like, flying pickles. Oh, we got Archer. Archer Pete. We'll take care of him. Can I float? Okay. I can ride on the... Well, that doesn't seem very safe. Alright. Level 2-2. Two, two. We got our magic. Let's put on our turbans. Because now we can go underwater. Do I have to shoot that thing? Okay. Oh, it only stays open for a couple seconds. All right. I don't even want to tell you what that looks like. Oh! Oh, uh. 
See, one thing you'll notice about me is when I play games, I don't have the patience that I probably should have to do certain things. This is like the Ninja Turtles level from the old days when you used to have to go in the, uh, in, in the sewers. Alright. Alright. Take care of you. Keep going. Oh my. I'm gonna die at the same place. I know it. I know it. It's these stupid mouths. You have to swim through. I might. Okay, so I got those. Do I swim through here? Okay. Don't tell me I'm gonna die. Okay. <laughs> General store. What do I have? I need those. Do I have that? I don't even know how many, how many points do I have? I uh, okay. There's gonna be a boss. Oh. Come on. Oh, Mickey, you can do this. How many hits does this guy take? Got him! Got him! Alright. Come on, Magic Mickey. Let's let's get let's get you back into your uh, all right, two three. Get you back into your gear so we can grab that. Whoa, whoa! <laughs> right, let's keep going. We got this. I didn't hit the jump! Again, this game's made for kids, so if I can't play it, I should probably stop playing games, which probably isn't a bad idea after seeing how bad I'm doing at this. <laughs> I'm gonna have to retire from video gaming altogether. I'm telling you, if I was a kid playing this, I'd be pissed. I'd be like, what am I doing? Why? No! Alright. Got it. Okay. Get away from me. Get away from me, you fish. Alright, I'm probably the boss right now. Oh, there's flying pickle thing. It's like a pickle earthworm. Let's ride the ride the leaf down. Okay. I have a feeling there's gonna be a terrible boss here. That's <laughs> uh, yep. Let's get into our. Whoa! It's a it's a Pete spider. What? what? Get into your wizard gear. Get it. Oh, I can't touch that. Ah, I died. And <laughs> game over. Good thing I. <laughs> He's so sad. He's like, good thing you got extra extra continues to play with, so. Oh, I forgot about Pickle Man. Whoa!
Whoa! I hate this. I hate this. I'm actually having fun with the game. I'm just so bad at it. <laughs> Alright. Let's ride that leaf down. I don't know how to beat the Pete Spider yet, so... Get that magic and get the heck away. I don't think that's doing anything. Maybe I have to jump on his head? Maybe I have to shoot him in the face. No. Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. This is, uh, this Pete Spider hates me. I still have, like, 30 minutes left, so if I can't beat this Pete Spider... I- What is the, these stupid pickles? I bet you've never seen somebody get so angry at a Mickey game. That's a first. That's a first. Alright. I don't know many of these characters from Mickey lore other than Pete, but I don't know how to beat the, the, the spider. Now, do I have any other magic that I can do, or is it just, no? When I hit him in the face, he... he can I jump? Okay. So obviously I have to hit him in the face. That's the... That's, that's what I'm getting from this. I don't see any hit meter, though, so I don't know. I gotta get away from his webbing. He's gonna shoot shoot me in the ass. There we go. Bounce on his face. Bounce on his face. Oh! I can't touch the rest of them. And if he shoots his webbing at me, I'll probably die. Oh! Oh! Jump on his face! Jump on his face! Jump on his face! What? How did I die? We got this. I gotta stay away from the pickles, because they cost me health. I'm not even riding this stupid leaf down. We're just diving in. We're going to get this guy. I'm, I'm angry. You wanna mess with me, Pete? You wanna mess with me? I'm gonna jump on that head. I don't even know if this is hurting him, but I'm gonna keep doing it. How am I supposed to get out of the way of that? The controls in this game aren't great either. He's he's very slippery. He he moves very quickly. Oh, he's pink now. Maybe that means he's hurting. Not hurting enough. Okay. We're going, guys. We're doing this. This I've, I have a good feeling about this run right here. I think this is the one. This is the one. We're just going to shoot him in the face until, we, until he can't get shot in the face anymore. And then jump on his face. Get over here, Pete. Got him! Got him! Get out of here, Pete Spider! I told you, once I figure it out, I'm good. It's just that I've used like 14 continues to get to this point, so. Bye, Pete Spider. Reminder, if you are watching, I don't have a counter or anything, but feel free to uh, to donate. We're, we're doing this for the St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. Um, they're doing a thing this summer called the 60 Minutes a, G a Week Gaming Challenge, so that's kind of why I'm doing this. 
And uh, feel free to donate. The link is in the description. Obviously, it goes to a good cause. And I'm all about helping the kids. So that's why I'm doing this. And the kids would probably be very embarrassed if they saw this. They'd probably be like, listen, we don't need money that bad because you are terrible at this game. But it's all good. Oh, we're going into the ghost. All right. This music is creepy. It's pretty good for a Game Boy game now, right? I mean, it's not It's not like it's bad music. It's up. Oh, no, no, get away from me. Oh. I don't want to get caught up there and get hit with the spikes. I can't grab that while I'm in wizard mode, so... I can break the blocks, I guess. I didn't realize I could do that. Get out of here. At least I can break the blocks, see if they have some magic or some... Coins or... Oh, crap! Oh, crap! No! Oh! Oh, I didn't... I thought I was doing good. Alright, there we go. We got some coins. I need some hearts. Those some extra lives. There's no like one ups anywhere. It's not it's not like Mario where you can get a one up mushroom. I feel like once I get a hit, I'm done. Alright. Get what I'm out of magic! I'm out of magic! Oh, I guess I shouldn't be breaking all those bricks on my way down. I'm, I'm switching to... Naked Mickey. At least then I can pick up the blocks and throw them. I feel better about that. Oh! I did feel better about it until I just ran into the... At least I'm not using my magic now. Oh, got him. Right, let's let's switch to Magic Mickey now, so we can get those blocks out of the way. Get out of here. We don't need that blocks. We need the big stack of blocks. This one. Get that there. Oh yeah. I'm switching out of my Mickey costume, because... Oh, we're going to, like, hell! Oh, it's, like... Whoa! It's Evil Hammer Pete. He's got thorns on his head, so I bet I can't jump on him. Oh. Oh. No. Whoa! No, I don't want to start all the way back here. Oh. Alright, I'm going to try not to use any magic. Because it doesn't seem like there's any way to refill it once you hit that... Again, I've said this like six times. Imagine being a kid and playing this game. How frustrated would you be if you, your parents rented this for you from Blockbuster? You were like, you know, I really want to play a Mickey Mouse game. It, it's got to be fun. And then it's hard. You know, I don't know, I'm just terrible at games, which is probably the case. But get away from me. Get away from me. Get away. Right, we need some hearts. We got any hearts in here? Any hearts? 
Go Art! Get it! <laughs> Let's get into nin uh, magic mode. Let's pick up that magic. I probably should have just picked up one of them. I didn't even think to... Oh, crap! Whoa! Oh! Oh! Oh, no! Get out of here. I have like no magic left. I had like one shot left if I didn't get her there. Well, I got a new suit. Oh, now I'm a firefighter. Do I have a limited amount of water? Probably, right? Come on, firefighter Mickey. We got this. You get it? Because he's in hell. It's, he's a firefighter. Can I get up there? Or do I have to jump on these little tiki's? This game was actually made by Capcom, so... Oh! So, you know, the people who made Mega Man and some pretty good companies did this, so it's, it's definitely got some quality to it. They put a lot of effort into the graphics and the presentation and... It, it, it's just very hard for a kid's game. It's like, last week, I played Bugs Bunny Birthday Blowout on here, and I I beat the game without, like, without trying. It was it was almost easy, like, too easy. And then I play this, and I'm like, wow, what? This, this is not easy. <laughs> it's supposed to be a Mickey Mouse game. Oh! <laughs> I'm switching. We're gonna get this whatever's in here. I can't pick those up. Okay. Now we're back in our firefighter year. Oh, oh, I can't touch that while it's on fire! Oh, I needed that. All right, good. Oh, no! <laughs> no, get out of here! Get out of here! Three, three. We're gonna switch into magic. See if we can get anything good out of this. All right, we got some coins. Let's get back into our firefighter garb. Don't wanna get crushed. No, 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 no! <laughs> I don't even know what I'm supposed to do! I know Pluto still needs me. I'm just not good at this. I got like... Almost 20 minutes left. We're not going for all those coins again. I'm just trying to survive right now, guys. I'm just trying to make it- make it through this alive. <laughs> need to okay well we have the water maybe I have to duck into the water okay well, that's that's something 
Oh! No, 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 get back! No! Oh, I got a one-up. All right. Oh, good thing, because I just jumped off a cliff. Once again, how is this a Mickey Mouse game? It's hard. What, did I get crushed? No. Alright, duck. Get away from these guys. Get away from those things, because they're just going to set on fire. Get in the water. Alright. Got the one up again, that's good. There? Okay. What's up here? Anything good up here? I feel like I'm finding secrets here. I'm probably not, but... Oh! So the controls are kind of slippery. It reminds me... It should be like Mega Man, but it's not, because he doesn't stop right away. Oh, there's a secret door! Oh, general store. Okay. How many points do I got? 104. What does that blue thing do? I don't know what it does, but I took it. Oh, no! Oh, I almost got electric or er, <laughs> fired right there. Right, we're going to 1 4 or 3 4. I have a feeling we're fighting a boss here. Oh, great. Oh, okay. What am I supposed to do? Shoot him in the eyes? Oh, I didn't... Oh, did I get hit? How did I get hit? Come on, Mickey. We got this. We fought worse. I, not when I do stuff like that, but... If I hold down, I, I, oh, that's, that changes the game. If I hold down the button, he does like a sustained shot. I didn't know that. Guess I should have read the manual. All right, I feel like I can get him this time. I don't, I'm not as worried about it now. I thought I was that sh supposed to take these little shots at him. I was like, that's not doing anything. It's not doing any damage. Then I do dumb stuff like that, but. How did I let my my water ball not take that thing out? Oh, it gets faster. Oh, well, I'm getting there, guys. I'm getting there. I think we can do it this time. I'm feeling good about it. I feel good about it a lot. But uh, let's get up here. We got a good vantage point here. Let's let's.
Oh no! Oh no, what happened? My battery fell out! <laughs> of course! I was about to do it! And now my battery fell out! Get, get up! Get up, Mickey! Get up. <laughs> well, we know how to do it now, at least. I am uh, embarrassed my battery fell out in the middle of playing, so... Go figure. We got him this time. If we don't get him this time... I mean, I still have like 10 minutes I gotta play, but... We'll, we'll get him. But I feel good about this one. I feel I, I feel like this is it. This is... This is what we've been waiting for. What did, what, how did he hit me? I gotta duck underneath him. That's what, that's where I'm losing the battle here. I need that. All right, we got this. We, we, there, there's there's no choice now. We got no excuses. See? See? No excuses! Get me out of this fire level. I don't want to be in the fire level anymore. If anybody's watching, like I said, I don't have a counter on, but we are doing donations for the St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. That's why I'm doing this. Every week I'm going to be on playing a different game. Hopefully one that I'm better at than this one. Uh, but <laughs> essentially... If you, uh, if you want to donate, the link is in the description below. It's part of their 60 Minutes a Week Gaming Challenge. So, you know, figured I'd do what I can for the kids. And, and like, oh, it's Goofy! They'd probably be pretty embarrassed if they saw me playing. They'd be like, man, this is, uh, this, is, this is not it. But thank you for your help. So, look up this mountain. It's, oh, God. We're going to need all the help we can get. All right, we got a new suit. What is it? Oh, I'm like Robin Hood. Thanks, Goofy. Oh, I got a grappling hook. All right. This, now we're talking. Okay. Can I use it as a weapon? I can. It's just uh, aim is high, I guess. What the heck? Okay, I can climb. Those eggs are probably gonna hatch and... I don't like the controls of these things. It's not an easy thing to control. It's a cool concept to have. But most times it angles up like that. And I don't want that. I want to... When I'm not pressing the button, I should be able to just... Okay. There's a Pete guy. I took his... I do like the the climbing. It's just that the controls are uh, see like now I gotta start at the beginning. It's a fun game, I'm telling you. I just can't imagine playing this as a kid and being like, I, I tell you, if I if my parents rented this for me a Blockbuster and I complained about it, they'd be like, we just spent seven dollars on this. What's wrong? And I'd be like, this is the hardest game I've ever played, mom. Like this is. <laughs> I don't understand why a Mickey game would be so hard, but I don't. I don't really know. You know, it's, it's maybe I'm not the target audience. Maybe maybe I shouldn't be playing this game anyway. I need I need some. 
I need some health. I got the hang of it. It's just not the most intuitive thing using this. See? Alright. Well, this might be the last continue. So we are going to play for another, I think, seven minutes. And uh, then we'll take it from there. But I, I, I normally I'd feel like I have to complete a game. This is not one. I, I'm enjoying it. Don't get me wrong. It's fun. I don't feel the need to uh, go through and play the rest of it. To, to learn about the world of Mickey. Oh! It saved me there. Now that I'm getting the hang of it, it's not that bad. Got your shield. Got it! Alright. Let's swing from here. Oh, no! There needs to be some checkpoints in these levels, so I don't have to keep playing the same parts over and over again. Climb up there. No, get away, get away, egg things. See, the one strange thing is that you have to aim before you shoot. And it doesn't shoot in the direction you're walking. You actually physically have to aim which is kind of a weird concept. I can't be the first person to get this mad over a Mickey game, right? But the hard part is I do like the game. It, it's, it's a fun game. It's just, it's very frust- the, the buttons and the layout is very frustrating. And the precision to which you need to do everything for, for a kid's game is, is crazy. Like, I know what I was probably better at these kinds of games when I was a kid, because I played them a lot more. I'm sure just like now, I'm a lot better at shooting games than I was as a kid, because they didn't exist. But this game is not easy. And, and you'd think for a Mickey game that you would have some type of, uh... Oh. And there's a lot of blind jumps, a lot of blind hits. I get it. I don't, like, I don't want to go there, because there's Pete Dog thing. Alright. Alright. Let's give this one more shot. I think the key is use it for diagonal jumps. Because if you use if you have to angle it, it doesn't go as easily. So try to use diagonal only, and you won't be disappointed by the, the direction that your controller chooses for you. I guess if you have to do verticals, you can, but... Alright, Mickey, come on, we got this. This is our, this is our time. Uh, oh! Did I not take a hit for that? Okay. Let's see now that egg. I knew how to avoid him that time. Let's get up there. Let's get up there. There's Pete Dog. Pulled the shield away. Let's take care of him. Now I need to get onto that. How is the best way to do that? Okay. Okay. That's the end of the level right there. But my, my grappling claw is so 
inaccurate. Like it's it's right there. It's it's literally right in front of me. Right, I don't like the grappling claw anymore. I don't like it at all. <laughs> We've used like 14 continues, and we are about halfway through the game, and I think that's about quitting time. So this is gonna be my last uh, continue. If I don't do it on this one, we're gonna we're gonna shut it down because I think we've hit the hour mark. And I appreciate everybody hanging with me. If you you probably don't want to keep watching me make these stupid jumps either, but once again, I do it for the kids. Do it for the kids. So as I said before, uh, Saint Jude. Make sure you donate in the uh, in the description if you can. If not, just 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 spending time with me was awesome. So thank you for that, and uh, I appreciate it. And I'm sure the kids do too because you know that they, they, I don't know what the exact breakdown is, but just for doing this, Saint Jude donates some type of money. So that's that's the important thing. Um, but I'm I'm probably gonna do it again next week. I mean, probably I definitely will. I'm probably not gonna play a Mickey Mouse game. But uh, I'll definitely do something next week. I don't know what to play. So if you have any suggestions, drop them in my comments. Drop them in my inbox. I'll, I'll always read suggestions. Uh, preferably something that I won't die at that frequently. I, you know, I can always play Super Mario World, but we've done that. I mean, I, I you guys have seen that. This I, I figured this would be something that a lot of people haven't gotten a chance to play. And you probably have no desire to play it now either because you watched me play it. and you're Well, ladies and gentlemen... <laughs> this was this was fun so uh if you get a second and you do have uh, the ability to please donate to the saint jude children's research hospital you can see the link down below and uh other than that this was pretty fun so i will see you guys next week we'll see what we're playing and uh thank you for tuning in and you guys have a wonderful wonderful day I really, really look forward to, you know, playing video games with Zach. Carson is nice and kind, and he loves video games, and... We both really like video games. So I knew he'd be a friend from the moment I first saw him. I love him. It's a button sequence that you have to do. You gotta do the left stick up twice, and then press, which one was it? B and up at the same time. B and up at the same time. I call him sometimes when he's in his transplant and he would, you know, keep to memory when I'd have my amputation. We always like play with each other and we talk about the good things and encourage each other to do good at our appointments. And we make jokes. Yeah. <laughs> There was this one time when me and Zach were gonna go to the zoo, but I didn't feel good enough to be able to go. So we just played video games after when I was better. Mm-hmm. Good job. Good job. Get a quick... Pretty much get together and just play games and have fun and don't really think about the other stuff. I may ask if your appointments went well today or if you were feeling good, but we focus on their friendship and just make that like our main goal and just don't worry about all the pain and stuff like that. I don't have to take pain medicine as much and they help distract me and it's helped a lot. Cancer has come back a few times. Now it's gone again, so I'm gonna go home soon. We're gonna, you know, play online and FaceTime each other so we can talk and see each other, even from far away. Uh-oh, wrong button, wrong button. Oh. You're gonna get to see Dad. Oh, man. I just wanna say that St. Jude is a great place, and they've given me my life back. All the treatments and surgeries and everything else. I think it's great at no matter what, people will always help us kids at St. Jude. Good game!